Hey there guys, this is George, one of the directors of Bobo, a short film. Now since this is a period piece that deals with a scene in the Great War trenches, we're going to be cooking a dish that the lads would have made over in England while in the trenches. This is the dish that they would have ate on a regular basis because you had your ration kits and you got ration kits, you got like a little piece of hard tack, something you got billy beans or you got cans of corned beef. Now when it comes to vegetables, they would have gotten like carrots, they would have gotten potatoes and onions fresh from the farmer's fields over in France. And then of course, they would have used sauce, like HP sauce, but in this case, I've heard the American equivalent that tastes like HP sauce is Worcester sauce. It has the same taste to it, but not as thick. So we're going to be making a dish called corned beef stew. There's many different variations of this dish, but we're going to make it traditionally the way they would have done it back then. But we're going to add some modern things. Now, of course, hard to find corned beef in today's time, and it can just like they would have had it. But there are places like Libby's, product of Brazil, and you do got some corned beef. Now, of course, when you have that, we do got our fresh vegetables. We got some carrots. Again, that's not from the farmer's field. Um, we got some pota potatoes, and then we got some onions there. And of course, we got a Worcester sauce. Over here, we do have some beef stock that kind of gives some flavor. And if the corned beef in the can doesn't go, we got some actual sliced corned beef. Mmm, quite delicious. So, Let's get cooking. So we got a little bowl here. And of course, uh, we got our carrots. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna chop our carrots. For this recipe, we're not gonna be using a World War I tin, but we're gonna just kind of say, well, I think that should be enough carrots. Put those aside. We're gonna actually chop the carrot and we're gonna put it directly into our cast. So next is the onion. I got two onions, but I think one may suffice. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut up this onion. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add the onion into the pot. All right, let's do that. So the onions are now in. Now we're gonna take some potatoes here and we're going to use a potato peeler, get rid of the skins. And we're gonna cut them up in the cubes. I think, um, put this to, let's do one, two, three potatoes should suffice. Everything is in. We got the potatoes, we got the carrots, we may need this for the corned beef, and we got the onions. So now, we're going to add some beef broth. Now typically, in a small fashion form, you would have small, you wouldn't have as much beef broth. But, since I'm cooking in a massive amount of the stew, it's okay to use the whole thing of beef stock. Alright, put you aside. We're going to now turn on the stove and let high because we're going to get this to boiling because we want all the vegetables to soften up. Once the vegetables have softened up in there, we're gonna go ahead and add our corn beef. Cut that up. At this point, if you would like, you can go ahead and add a little kosher salt. You can add a little pepper to the taste, like so. I'm using tongs, don't ask me why. We're just gonna move it around. Let that sit. We're gonna wait till the vegetables soften, and then we're gonna get to the rest. Oh, forgot, but you could add some Worcester sauce now. So we're gonna 
Add some dripping, so Worcester for flavor. Like so. <clears throat> Alright. Let's let for the vegetables to soften up. And on to next step. Alright, so it's been some time, roughly about 20 minutes. Let's check this out. Boy, does that look good. It's kind of softened down. Potatoes are cooking. We're going to put this on a simmer. Now it's time to add our beef. So the cool thing about beef, especially corned beef, is I'm excited to do this. So if we got our tin, we got a little thing on the side. So we're going to, oh, I've never done this before. Ooh. beef into here, just like so, <clears throat> mix it up, that's a lot of corned beef, so, mix up the corned beef, let it cook, do a stew, a slurry, I think one can of corned beef should do it. Good to get a hearty, thick stew. Now, just for kicks, I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this corned beef. Go ahead and cut this up. We'll try a little bit of both. Just like so. A little bit of delicious. So I'm gonna turn this back up to medium heat. Now we got the corned beef in there. We got the vegetables. We're gonna let the corned beef cook. We're gonna take our cover. We're gonna add the cover, but if you want. Before we do, a little bit more Worcester, a browning thickening agent. Mix it. Now let's just cap it. We're gonna let it simmer. We're gonna let it cook for about another 10 15 minutes, and we'll come back and check on it. And we're good. Now let's serve this into a dish. So we, that's all done. I put some in the bowl here. We're gonna go ahead and try some of this. So we have regular corned beef in the tin, and we have corned beef cut up, um, some vegetables. Let's go ahead and try some. Mm, that is absolutely delicious. I can't imagine having to eat this in the trenches on a daily basis. I mean, it's good for this now, but I think you would get tired of it after eating it for a while. And of course, mine took a lot of time, but back then they would have actually cooked it on the fly in the quick. So you had to get back out there. And I had to go out there and fight, and then you had to go to the trenches. But if you want to make it, this is actually pretty good. It's not bad. I mean, for every every other time, but not for like all the time. Mm. It's good. I absolutely enjoy cooking with you guys. Again, this is your director, one of your directors, George, from Bobo A Short Film. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to EVG's channel here on YouTube. Make sure you like and follow us on Facebook at Bobo A Short Film. And I look forward to bringing some more stuff. we got some awesome stuff coming up. Another update coming next week. This is George, signing out.